Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you today how to make Spanish rice. And first important ingredient is fresh garlic. So I'm going to slice that up and I like to put them in big chunks. Now I was taught how to make Spanish rice years ago when my boys were little. So this is a dish that I made probably about every day or every other day because it is so delicious and it's filling. And if you store a lot of rice, say for like disasters or for um, uh, just for anything, this is good to good recipe to learn. Okay, so this is, I use extra virgin olive oil for my rice. So I put the olive oil, I put the garlic, and that's three cloves. And then what I did is because my, when my kids were little, I'm just showing you how I used to make it. Um, and this gives it the most flavor. Now, um, one of my boys did not like onions, but one did. So what I would do, I was put just some big slice of onion, and this is just for flavor. So, um, and then what I would do is when the rice would do, was done, I would just pull out the big, the big pieces of onion out. But if you like onion, then this is perfect. And I do love onion, but I'm just showing you um, the best way to make this. If you don't like onion, still add the onion for the flavor. Okay, so I forgot to get a spatula. Okay, so that is my garlic and my onions in olive oil. Okay, and then I already washed my rice. Normally when I make my Spanish rice, I cook it in this pot. This makes the best rice. But since I'm showing you how to make it, I'm gonna do it in this pan so you can see it easier. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, so I'm gonna turn up my burner. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, I used long grain rice. I store my rice in my old Prego container. So you use long grain rice for Spanish rice. So, you fry that rice up just a little bit in that oil. I'm gonna add some pepper. And you can really smell that garlic. It smells so amazing. It's so important when you make Spanish rice to use fresh garlic because it makes all the difference in flavor. And I put the big chunks uh, of garlic because that's just the way I like it. Okay. So an easy way to know if when you make your rice, rice, one cup of rice, takes exactly one bottle of water to cook. So if you store rice, say for a disaster or something, you wanna have at least one bottle of water for every cup of rice you have in storage. And I'm not talking about a pound, I'm only talking about a cup. So you're gonna need a lot of water for water storage. Okay, so I'm just frying that up in the olive oil and garlic. Okay, so because I'm not gonna use, uh, I'm doing, I'm showing you the old school method of making Spanish rice. I'm not gonna use my whole water bottle. What I'm gonna do is add one cup of turkey stock. Now I'm just using turkey stock, you can use chicken stock, but um, the reason why I'm using it is because I already have this open. So I'm gonna do One cup of turkey stock and one cup of water. And I'm only using bottled water because I don't use my tap water here because um, our tap water is bad in this area. Okay, so I added my stock and I added the water, so half stock, half water one cup of each and then 
Uh, you can use tomato sauce, um, even canned tomatoes you can use, but this is what I prefer to use. It's tomato bouillon chicken flavor, and this is the best because it has all the spices already in it. So a lot of people will add extra spices in their Spanish rice, but this already has it all in there for you. So this I love, and I always use this for my Spanish rice. Now, I don't really measure. So what I do is um, I just look at it by color. So this is one whole spoonful I'm gonna put in here, and I'm just gonna stir that up and see what it looks like. Okay, so that looks absolutely perfect. So see how the rice looks like orange? Doesn't look red, it has that orangey look. That is the perfect color for rice. Okay, Spanish rice. So now I'm gonna turn up the burner just to bring that to boiling. And once that is done boiling, I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer till it's all cooked. So Spanish rice is super easy to make super delicious and it's good to know how to make it because um if you're storing a bunch of rice say for a disaster or any anything um you want to you want to be able to cook it more than just white rice because uh, your family is going to absolutely love this so i just bring it to a boil and i'll show you what it looks like and then once I, it boils i'm going to cover it let it simmer and then when it's done, when it looks like all the water is evaporated, I'm gonna fluff it up with a fork. So I'm gonna stir it up with a fork. I'm not gonna use my spatula because I don't want my rice all mushy. I want my rice um, like fluffy. So once it's done, almost all the water is done, I'm gonna fluff it up. So that is the perfect amount of water for your Spanish rice. So if you use one cup, you're gonna use one cup water, one cup of stock, or you could use two cups of stock. You can make it all with this. But the only reason why I'm using one cup of the turkey stock is because I'm already using the tomato bouillon. Now, if you do not use the tomato bouillon and you use the tomato sauce, then um, you're gonna to wanna to add more spices. You're gonna to wanna to add, of course, salt. Um, you can add things like cumin, all of that. But this was great, it has everything in it. You don't need to add anything else. So I like to keep this in my pantry because um, this is so good. This is even good for chicken soup, um, different homemade soups. So, but I feel like this makes the best rice. So see how it's boiling up. I'm just gonna give it a little stir you don't want your rice mushy and i'm just gonna wait for it to boil up a little bit more and then i'm gonna cover it and it's getting there and then once i get it to a good boil and i cover then i'm going to lower the fire to where the fire is just barely on it's on low heat where the fire looks like it's almost ready to go out but not quite you know a little bit higher than that you want to make sure your fire doesn't go out but um that will make the perfect rice and you'll know when it's done different areas are going to cook faster um i'm in a desert area so the the rice cooks pretty quick for me here never takes too long so in your area it may take a little bit longer so just depends you just got to keep an eye on it so this looks like a really good boil I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit just so that I know there's nothing stuck. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna lower the heat. And that is it and it's gonna cook up. And once it's done, I'll show you how it looks like, but this is an easy way to make delicious homemade Spanish rice. And this is the old school way. So you're gonna use wash your rice, long grain rice, Put olive oil, fresh garlic, some big pieces of onion. If you don't like onion, you can pull it out. If you like onion, you can chop it up real small, leave it in there, or you don't have to add any onion. But for me, the best flavor, homeschool flavor, is the onion and the garlic is what really makes it. And then I use half stock, half water, and this. 
So, or you can use tomato sauce. Okay, everybody, this is how to make Spanish rice. Thank you for watching.